Okay, so summer velvet scouting. That's what we're gonna go over on this because that's what we're doing. I've said it before, you'll hear me say it again, I will continue to say it. Help the deer do what deer want to do. So, uh, we ta I've talked in this episode many, many, many times about um, observing deer, watching, you know, trail cameras. Uh, trail cameras is obviously a critical tool. Um, observations from the stands, ob observations from scouting. And I don't think, have, we haven't done one on velvet scouting, have we? Like, I didn't think we had. And so, um, I wanna do an episode. This isn't gonna be like this super, uh, you know, informative deal, but a couple of things that I like to do um, is on, we just had this big cool front. Typically a cold front, like any other time of the year, causes deer activity to really go up. And we just had the storm front move through. We unfortunately did not get any rain out of it, um, which sucks for farming and the crops and the food plots, but uh, it's got a bunch of deer up on their feet, a bunch of deer on their feet. And I've seen these deer uh, back in this field for a few days uh, consistently. And so I told Aaron, I was like, dude, let's, let's get out here and let's just film velvet scouting. And so we are uh, 560 yards. I used uh, an app to tell me how, there's another deer that just came out. Um, anyway, used an app to range it, but we're about a little over 500 yards and uh, we're running our spotting scopes. Um, you know, I tell people, buy the best spotting scope you can afford because this is, it's like a, it's like a good rifle or something like, you know, the, the more you spend on it, the longer it's gonna last you and the better time in the woods you're gonna have. Um, I don't get a lot of time to be in the woods anymore, with job and family and, and all that. So when I'm out here, I really want it to be the best experience that I can. Um, I use, per, personally, I use a mag view to be able to put my phone up here and get footage of you know whatever I'm looking at and scouting. Uh, just, you know, it's, it's a magnetic deal that goes on your phone. I actually need to move it over right there. And uh, anyway, just it connect, or your phone snaps to it. And there's a bunch of different kinds. Um, phone scope or Allen makes some good ones, I think. But MagView's the ones that I've been using for a while now, and I've just been super happy with it. So uh, a good tripod, um, one of which I don't really have, but I'm gonna be getting one, <laughs> to be completely honest with you. Uh, anyway, but. You know, we're about five, 600 yards away from these deer and we're just watching them. And I thought they were gonna come out to the right and they didn't. They came out of this totally different spot over here that I was not anticipating. And it's things like that, you know? If I'm gonna put a trail camera back there, I wanna put it in a spot that has the most opportunity of capturing the most pictures of deer. Whoa. Uh, so, you know, the. I, every single deer that came out came out on the exact same trail. All right, well, I am probably going to put a trail camera on that trail right there, for instance. Um, Save me a lot of time. Now, if you're running feeders or mineral sites, things of that nature, yeah, that you know that's gonna help you bring deer in, but if you're not, uh, you know, that scouting like this is gonna be a very, very useful tool to um, really help you hone in on those camera locations to get an even better look, you know, those pictures up close instead of from far away. And we can get pretty good photos on here and video, but um, anyway, just, you know, obviously it's not the same as a trail camera. If you can get on a high spot, because I mean, it gives you more elevation, you can see more, it's easier to see. But uh, yeah, that's really kind of, kind of, this isn't like some groundbreaking episode. It's just, I was like, dude, let's just take them velvet scouting and you're gonna see um, footage on here, from here in this episode of deer and whatnot. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Um, it's just an exciting time of year, you know? 
It's an awfully exciting time of year. It's, we're gonna be putting in fall food plots next month in August. And uh, that's always an exciting time because mean season is for us one month after that. But you know, bucks are bucks are really shaping up. They're doing a lot of they're you know for the most part developed, fully developed, or you know I'd say at least 85 percent, 80 to 85 percent by now. Um, by the time this drops, probably 90. But yeah, uh, good stuff. It's exciting. I'm excited. I know this is a little different, different, but I uh, hope you enjoyed it and look forward to next month where fall food plots are going in and who knows what else we'll cover because, I mean, kind of come up with some off the wall ideas, kind of like this, like, dude, let's just go velvet scouting. But, yeah, like, subscribe, I appreciate it. We'll catch you guys later.